All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome to another great episode on your favorite political talk show, The Truth with Ben Jokes. Now, as we all know, the discussion on increasing the minimum wage has been going on for over 10 months. And if we are being honest, that shows that the government of the day does not really see it as a priority. Because we saw how they treated things that they felt were priorities. We saw the bill to change the national anthem, which is one of the biggest symbols of our nationhood, read, passed, and signed into law under 72 hours. We saw petrol subsidy removed within the twinkle of an eye, even though the impact of petrol subsidy on the economy and livelihoods of Nigerians is second to none. They removed it without thinking. The increase in electricity tariffs was instant, but for over 10 months, we have been struggling with minimum wage and labor has been taking it until yesterday. Until yesterday, when labor shut down Nigeria, labor put the government under pressure and all along, the people kept telling them that, look, labor, continue, we are behind you. But suddenly, labor went into a meeting last night and they went into some agreements which Nigerians called secret agreement because we didn't see anything tangible in the reports that they released after that meeting and few hours ago nlc came out to say they had suspended the strike for five days they actually said they are relaxing the strike for five days so that negotiation can go on what negotiation for god's sake and as soon as they dropped that statement nigerians began to react very angrily to that pronouncement saying how can you suspend the strike without a tangible offer before i show you that report and how nigerians reacted let me quickly show you how sheung okimbaloe put this tinubu minister under hot seat see the video are aligned to the renewed hope agenda of change the minister the agitation the agitation i'm very sure that you have people around you oh, yes. who are feeling the the pinch of this economic situation in the country a lot of nigerians out there they are finding it difficult to eke a living uh to to, to what to, it did not to, start to today what happened before election well, it didn't start today well, minister in the last one year if when this government came into too, power one year is too small but to things change have something, minister. Th no, th one year is too small to change things that had happened over 16 years and you see, yes. But look at the dramatic decline in the purchasing power of the citizen in the last one year. And that's why we are working. We are not sleeping. But it looks like your government had badly run the economy to this point. Are, for so you, much. Look at the, the value of the Naira from one year ago. And now it has drastically reduced the purchasing power. So the question, yeah, what, Minister. What is important is the willpower and political power to make the change. And that's what the president is doing. The, and I, the and tangibles, I, the tangibles, Minister, that Nigerian citizens will. Because a lot of the things that you reeled out, we've heard some of the plans, and you have said it again tonight, of what the press, CNG, and all. There are a lot of Nigerians who say, we have not seen them. You have not uh, seen the them. The welfare packages, okay. they have not seen them. You are they welfare? tangible? Can the federal government put out videos of those who are receiving and collecting some of these things? So Nigerians can oh, really so believe what the federal it. government... Are they, are, they, are they there, Minister? Of course. They are really there out there? Yes. Who are those benefiting? When you, if you have... You saw that. She really drilled this minister and you saw how confused she was because nobody can defend the failures of this administration. And look at how Nigerians reacted. Look at some of the tweets, reactions. This tweet here by Jamila says, I hate these people and I'm not even mincing words. The rapid decline is simply because of their failures. Blame games for eight years. They want to continue for another seven years. Mm. And Clinton here says, she completely ran out of words to defend this administration. And Oluwani Femi replied, she said, they know what they are doing. It's not an easy job. Femi Adesional will be thanking his demons that he didn't have to do all this. I'm telling you, Femi Adesional suffered defending Buhari. He would have collapsed if he had had to defend Tinubu. And Adewale Damilare says, but within the same one year, Tinubu put Nigerians in a sorry state. Economy is now turbulent. She should pack well. The same one year that you are saying that something cannot be done. And this tweet by Viva says, They use 16 years swear for on herself. Every government that comes would refer to 16 years of PDP in power. APC has already spent 9 years in power. 
So what are they talking about? Are nine years not enough to change things for the better? If you ask me who I go ask, in your nine years, you have put the people under the kind of poverty that they did not see in the 16 years of PDP. And this minister is coming to talk about that. Look at how she skipped the eight years of Buhari's failure to say that one year cannot fix the problems of 16 years. You know, when you try to defend this administration, you begin to look like somebody who has mental problem because she, she did not sound sane there. Now, let us look at that statement by the Nigerian Labour Congress that got Nigerians angry. Look at how the papers reported it. Breaking, organized labor suspends strike for five days. The organized labor has suspended its nationwide strike for five days to allow uninterrupted meetings with the tripartite committee on the new national minimum wage. This new development was disclosed to Vanguard by a top source among the labor union leaders under the condition of anonymity. Vanguard previously reported on the new resolutions regarding the minimum wage after labor leaders met with the secretary to the government of the federation, George Akume, and other government officials on Monday night. During the meeting, Akume confirmed that Tinubu administration is committed to paying more than 60,000 naira as the minimum wage. Following the scheduled 10 a.m. meeting with the FG Tripartite Committee today, Tuesday, Labour decided to suspend the strike. Consequently, all government and private offices are expected to reopen and operate as usual. This development marks a critical step towards resolving the minimum wage issue, ensuring that the Tripartite Committee can work towards an agreeable national minimum wage without further disruptions. And then, the NLC went ahead to post on their official page, they wrote, Strike action relaxed for one week to allow the conclusion of negotiation details shortly. But look at how Nigerians reacted. Look at some of the tweet reactions. This tweet by Queen B says, The Nigerian Labour Union have chickened out cowardly after wasting everyone's time. Trust the Nigerian Labour Union at your own peril. Oh, and Ojo Henry Okpayemi says, Exactly my fears. They are so inconsistent. Chai. Prince Charles wrote, this is the reason why Nigerians will never take these guys seriously. Ayode Jikayode wrote, they are not to be taken seriously. Chai. Tega in this tweet says, suspending the strike is giving politicians room to arm themselves and prepare better for a long strike, which labor and the masses cannot sustain. This is victory for federal government and the looters of the Nigerian treasury. And this guy replied, he said, you get oil for your head. NLC just gave federal government great advantage. Mumu NLC. Though I know NLC knows what they are doing. NLC is just using this charade to tell Tinubu that he should come correct and give them their own share of the national cake. NLC fool themselves singing the same old tune. Mm. And online, Calderon Day here wrote, he said, putting your money on NLC and TUC is a pure waste of hard-end resources. They don't fit anything worthy at all to place your trust. Chai and Stanley Ritchie wrote, Don't waste your precious time for the outcome. It will be terrible and disappointing. Labor don't collect money. Forget the masses. Mm. And this tweet by Olushe, he says, What does this even mean? You all just wasted everybody's time by creating unnecessary disruption to livelihoods without any meaningful impact. Well, my take on this is that this does not look good for Nigerian workers. Because like I said in my previous videos, these discussions shouldn't take more than one meeting, like one to two hours. Because it's been ongoing for over 10 months. So it's a matter of decision. If they have decided to pay the workers a living wage, it shouldn't take this long. LLC coming out to say they are going to relax the strike for five days so that negotiation can go on in my own opinion i would say they have sold out like they always do and it's such a shame this was a strike that was going very well these guys were under pressure and the aim was about to be achieved and they called them for that night meeting and after the meeting they are singing different songs this is pathetic and this is why i keep telling the people that if nigerians because nlc is a group that's why they are able to command the hands of government like this to work with them. 
And how do groups come about? They come about by people just agreeing to fight one cause. Nigerians can do it too. The masses can do it too. If they can come together and agree to fight for their own welfare, to prioritize their own welfare ahead of sentiments like tribe and religion, this country will be fixed. This is a land of plenty, a land flowing with milk and honey. People don't deserve to suffer the way they are suffering. It is the hate, the hatred of our own hearts that these politicians are riding on to punish us. And if we can keep it aside and unite, we can take our country back. But until then, make I still enter town. <laughs> make I go get some Ubonga political news where we go like. Why? Because now, because of now. Now I did here, so don't go away. Don't go away.